Hi everyone, I'm Jimmy Jardine and I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how to use Quicker's brainstorming features. First thing you do is open a brainstorm by clicking on this button on the start page. Once there, add a few nodes to your brainstorm, click the add node button, or let's collapse down the help and close down the brainstorm metadata area just so we have some more space. Click the add node button and I can click on the brainstorm and add a few nodes. Once I've finished adding some nodes, I can click on the node, start typing, and edit the nodes this way. If I want to join a node to another node, I select the first node, I hold down the Alt key, and I select the other nodes that it's joined to. Then you can see when I move a node around, it's attached to them, or if I hold down the Shift key, it moves it around with them. Another cool thing you can do is say you've got uh, a web page where you find some images that you like. Maybe I like this one. I can just right click, copy that image, and hit Control V in quicker. It's as simple as that. Maybe I've got this one over here. Right click, copy the image, and paste it into quicker. They're just more nodes in the brainstorm. I can join to them, they can link to other things, and so on. Another cool thing you can do is if you've got a URL, you can just drag that URL into quicker and you'll see that I now have a URL node item in there. If I double click that, it'll open the, the web page again. So you can really quickly uh, list all the web pages that you're interested in. But the real fun actually comes when you want to brainstorm your PDF research. Uh, the easiest way to do that is either if you're reading a document, so here I've gone into my library and I've opened a document, you can either press this button, which will center your document in a brainstorm on its own, or if you want to add that document to an existing brainstorm of yours, go to your library, click on this button and hold down, drag it up to the brainstorm, and then let go in the brainstorm. And you'll see it's added the document to my brainstorm. Now this is where it gets fun. So this is the document. I want to know about it. I want to know who wrote this document. I just hit A for authors, and you can see Ms. Wallach wrote this document. If I want to see what she wrote, I just click her name, hit D, and here are all the papers that she wrote that are in my library. So obviously if you've got a few authors with a lot of names, you're going to have to um, spread these out a bit just to, uh, just to be able to see all your papers. But it's the fast way to learn what your authors are doing. If I want to see what else this uh, document, who this document cited, I can look, can look at all the papers that it linked outwardly. So these are the papers that this paper has cited, right? And similarly, if we look at this paper, I can see who cited this paper inbound. All these papers in my library have cited this paper. Okay, this is a very central paper. Um, let's go back to... Okay, so this is where it's useful to hold down the shift key to clear up your brainstorm like that. So um, let's just have a look quicker. Obviously, you can tag your documents. If you hit T, it basically shows you what you tagged your document with but I'm a bit of a lazy tagger, that's why I built the auto tagger. If you hit G, it'll actually show you all the auto tags that Quicker has given to your document. And so here you can really quickly delve into, well, what's this document about? And then more interestingly, you can see, well, what are the other documents out there that refer to these similar things? So, well, all of these are pretty uh, heavy topic in my library, but let's, for example, see everything that has to do with information retrieval in my library. There are going to be a lot of them. There they all are. That's a lot of papers. In the next version of Quicker, we're going to be putting where you can actually space these out quite nicely. But here it is, Quicker's brainstorming feature. So you can see I've explored quite a big, large part of this library. Um, I don't normally save my libraries. You can if you want and send them to your friends so that they can have a look at them. Generally, I just come to uh, the library screen to brainstorm, explore my library, and then I close it down and I start writing or reading, exploring that area. Hope you've enjoyed it. Cheers.